everyone. Welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 10, 7, and 5. If you're interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more essentialist lifestyle, you have come to the right place, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. In today's video, I'm sort of showing you a mishmash of things that we have used for math for my daughter in her pre-K first kind of kindergarten year. This year she was a hybrid pre-K K student. She is uh, five years old currently and she's already doing her first grade math books but I just wanted to show you kind of a mishmash of like different things we've used. If you're interested in some of the manipulatives I use at the beginning with math especially go ahead and check out some of the other videos in my math playlist which I will link in the description box down below because I talk about different types of manipulatives like arithmetics and um, counting blocks and abacuses there. To start off in no particular order, I just wanna mention that in this pile are two books or three that I will be featuring in individual videos later. And that includes the Abeka Number Skills book, the um, Mind Benders book from Critical Thinking Company and Mathematical Reasoning from the Critical Thinking Company. The other so just to start off, you have this Early Bird Kindergarten Mathematics book. This is a Singapore book. Um, for those of you who are interested in Singapore, it's sort of like their introduction to um, mathematics, or at least it was. Now they have Singapore Dimensions, which I'm very curious and I would love to get my hands on to review for you guys. So I like Singapore math, you know, like I think that they have a great approach it, to mental math, to emphasizing why math matters and how we should think about um, numbers in relation to one another, how we should develop a real clear understanding of base 10 um, before getting into complicated arithmetic, etc. So this book starts out quite simply, as you can see, very simple activities, writing the number of the animals in each box, counting, etc. I think I'd pick this particular book up from a thrift store at one point. One of my other children had done the A version or the level A book and I had the B book left over so I thought it would be a good book for her to practice just her counting. And as you can see we actually skipped pages if she didn't feel like doing them but she enjoyed counting. She enjoyed doing the um, look and talk activities especially where you know, there's little instructions for what an adult can do. And these are sort of like examples with real manipulatives. So here you can display 10 plastic bottles to do this activity and practice um, number sense. So there's a lot of handwriting practice here with numbers. There's also things like pictographs and tallies. You know, the colors um, are bright for several of the pages. Some of them just have this red, gray, um, and white scheme. They're sequencing this idea of time and night and day, ordinal numbers for second and third. We actually have an activity set with pages like this. Um, so we did this with that little activity set with popsicle sticks. But there's some coloring pages for shapes. My daughter was actually really good at shapes at this point, so she didn't really need to do that. And then like how many of each of the fruits, introducing the concept of addition by saying how many in total. Really nice book. I think the book 1A was also enjoyed by my other children. So. If you're looking for a nice simple start to math, that's a nice one. Um, we incorporate a lot of sticker books in our math practice and our science practice and almost anything else we can because I find them to be really good books for when I'm doing read aloud, for example. So we might not do this during math time, but we do it during, you know, homeschool reading time, etc. So this one had some stickers in the back where you'd put the right number of stickers here, add stickers to the picture. And it was a really simple and fun little sticker book for her. There's some coloring, dot to dots. Dot to dots are a great way of practicing just counting skills for kids. My daughter, my third child really enjoys dot to dots. Here you have what number comes after and they would have to add the stickers. So just simple, simple things. Some counting cents and money and some very simple addition at the end. So this is by School Zone, the Math Readiness Pre-K book. This is another School Zone book. You can pick up these books sometimes at the Dollar Tree. Um, some of them I've picked up there. Some of them I've picked up just at thrift stores. I like thrift stores for this age in particular because if they don't like a notebook or a workbook, it's not a big deal. And they want to be at the table and doing big kid work. At least mine always did. Um, I really like the School Zone publishing books from a little bit ago before everything got too busy. I find them to be very vintage, but this one was actually from 2015. 
And I like the illustrations. They talk about opposites, greater than, less than. And I just found this book to be beautiful. I prefer illustrations like these to the cartoon-like illustrations. This is really swift. It has little maze skills, very age appropriate for pre-K. Some shapes practice, some same and different practice, and some sequencing. So here we have this cute little book. It actually came with a little mouse shaped uh, eraser here. That was also a puzzle. This is based off of Margaret Weiss Brown's book, who's the author of Good Night Moon. Um, and it had a hundred stickers in it. I actually picked it up for 99 cents from Ollie's. If you have an Ollie's in your area, I recommend that you go, particularly for these little curriculum add-ons. This was a really simple and sweet book. I think we did it in a day or two. It had little counting activities where you would match stickers to the shapes that were there. You'd count on with these stickers in order. They had little puzzle activities and it just went through the entire book. And you can actually keep this book and have a storybook at the end of it as well, which I thought was cute. So we read this a bunch of times. There were some coloring activities and there's a little answer key too, though I don't know who would need that. So I find that adding in fun little um, activity books like this, particularly at the pre-K age is really helpful. This was a Dollar Tree book that I picked up. I thought it was quite good. It has tiny little stickers for number sense and counting, some number matching, some simple adding, sequencing some patterns here, some matching of number words to um, the actual number. Now my daughter uh, could not read these words and might not actually still be able to, but she could recognize that this is the number 19 and which one made the N sound and she sort of figured it out that way. So, and they had little stickers to count to 100, which was also a fun activity for her. So these are my favorite workbooks from the Dollar Tree, this particular publisher, and this is the Clever Factory. I think they make really nice um, quality little workbooks with nice stickers that stick which is kind of a problem at the Dollar Tree sometimes. Now moving on the next three books will each have their own independent videos where I go into much greater detail about what's in each of these books but I just wanted to tell you that um, I love the Critical Thinking Company for both their logic books and their math books. I'm not a huge fan of them for their language arts um, books at least not their language smarts books. Uh, mathematical reasoning, however, I think is very well done. I think they are an excellent supplement to a core curriculum because I don't find that they have such good teaching or instruction in them, but they have an, a really fun way of practicing math skills in a real world sense. It, they do have a very clear table of contents where they link every single page and activity to uh, different teaching standards. So if your district requires that, that's all there for you. One of the things I like best about the mathematical reasoning books is that they circulate through different sections of reasoning per page, as opposed to having one whole section on measurement. For example, here you can say they have measurement, the next activity is on numbers and operations, numbers and operations, then measurement, numbers and operations, then you have like algebraic reasoning, even at this age, numbers and operations, here's an algebra page, and so on and so forth. So right up there you can see like the different variety of skills that are in here. The pages are, are all brightly colored, they are fairly quick to do, there's lots of things here that involve more than just straight math where they ask um, critical thinking questions, and I just think it's an excellent, excellent curriculum to look into, particularly as a supplement. Um, if you're interested in the, more about that video, be sure to look in my playlist for an in-depth review. This is a, the a Becca Number Skills Arithmetic K5 book, and my daughter loved it. She enjoyed it from beginning to end. Now, yeah. you should know that as a secular homeschooling family, we use mainly secular resources, but I have no problems using... Um, Christian resources or curricula that I just tweak. Um, I find that it's sort of limiting to me to avoid them entirely and I find no issues with just taking out a page or two here or there or bringing my trusty whiteout out and taking out something that I find objectionable. But in all honesty this number skills book had very little that I found um, to be religious. So as you go through you can see that we really did enjoy this book and again there is a dedicated review for you to look at if you are interested in that but um, she enjoyed this book from beginning to end when she had to choose a math book to do she would often choose that so you have a lot of number sense practice and counting you always have clocks introduced early which i very much appreciated and a little handwriting practice 
There is oral evaluation problems in here as well, where your teacher says a number and they have to circle it. You have this domino addition going on where they're practicing their addition skills and it's very um, sequential and difficulty. I like that they continue to practice writing the numbers. You have some money practice being introduced here and matching number words to the actual numerals. You have time being practiced as well as a very elementary um, beginning to fractions. And she so just had a grand old time with it. This was not very strenuous on her part. Obviously pages like this were a little bit um, harder for her to do at one sitting, but she got it done. And I thought I was very impressed with the Abeka number skills book. Last but not least is the Mindbenders book by Critical Thinking Company. This is beginning book one for grades pre-K through K. It's important to keep in mind that this book actually can't really be done by your pre-K or K student unless they have very strong reading skills already. I basically would read the clues out to my daughter and then she would do the critical thinking puzzles um, on her own. So I'd say like, what does that mean? We walked through about four or five of them together. And then after that, she would do all the Xing out by herself, but I would read all the clues still to the end because um, my daughter is definitely more advanced in math than she is in language arts and she can't read these clues on her own. Um, she may be able to read some of them, but there's many that she cannot read on her own. So we actually did this one in the fall and it was really, really fun. I think they are really fun books to practice um, critical thinking skills with. So all of these books will be linked down in the description box below. I hope that was helpful to you guys. Um, definitely look for the dedicated reviews for these, but when you are at thrift stores or in the Dollar Tree or something, you know, think about picking up a couple of these just for variety, just for fun for your kids. The sticker books especially are useful while you're doing morning time and read aloud. So as always, you guys, I really appreciate your time. Thank you for spending some of it with me, and I wish you the very best day.